Hi everyone, uh, this is Dane Young with Intesys 360 in Northern California, and I'm super excited to share with you today some interesting technology um, that will help your organization embrace your digital workspace and Citrix technologies. So as you may have heard, um, there have been a number of innovative technologies in the market landscape um, in the form of Raspberry Pi's Intel next unit of computing or NUX, compute sticks, thin clients, all of the like. And so what I'd like to share with you today is something that I'm very excited about, um, a first seen on the internet showcase of um, a dual monitor configuration with a next generation um, in, in computing based Raspberry Pi um, that is called the RX HDX. Um, and this is a very interesting device from InComputing um, that leverages a number of different technologies from um, the Raspberry Pi folks, including a Pi Zero. So let's um, jump into this and talk about what is available here uh, from InComputing. So what I have with me here in this first box is what they call the RX HDX. And this is a Raspberry Pi based device um, from InComputing. It has uh, the green bezels on the side and you can see it's a standard um, Raspberry Pi with four uh, USB ports, an Ethernet port, an HDMI port, power port, an audio port, and a Kensington lock. Um, this is a sealed um, form factor and so if you're uh, putting these into high risk areas like uh, student labs in um, K-12 education or in universities, um, these form factors have been sealed so that students can't rip out the uh, SD cards and, and repurpose the uh, Raspberry Pis for other, other uses. Um, the other thing that comes in the box here is a uh, power adapter. This is a standard um, Raspberry Pi USB power adapter and a uh, adapter for um, the North America power. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this off to the side here. And we'll go ahead and get this fired up and connected. Next, I want to talk to you about a device that has been spoken about on different blogs that I'll show you in just a minute. Um, since about the Citrix Synergy time frame in uh, May of 2017. And this um, is the first commercialized variant from any manufacturer of a Pi Zero to be used in a thin client computing environment to provide a very critical function that we see in businesses today, the ability to leverage a secondary monitor with the Raspberry Pis at a high refresh frame rate. Um, so they previously had a display port based USB to display port um, adapter that would take the USB signal and, and convert it to HDMI, but there was very poor performance with that device it generally would only produce about 12 to 18 frames per second. So what they did was they took the Raspberry Pi Zero, they put a casing around it, and provide an HDMI port and two USB ports. One USB port is to daisy chain and connect to the, um, the HDX Pi, and the second USB port is to power the device. And so I'm gonna show you today um, what this form factor uh, secondary display adapter looks like when it's powering two high-performance monitors here at 1080p 60 frames per second. Also in the box here we have a couple cables, probably a power adapter, and I'll show you how that whole thing works out here. So in the box we have a USB power adapter, standard micro USB to USB, and then we have the uh, same for the, the cable that's going to daisy chain it to the Raspberry Pi. In just a minute here, I'm gonna show you this um, setup connected to two HDMI cables, connected to dual monitors, and we'll go ahead and fire this up for the first time. All right, welcome back. Um, so uh, behind me here, uh, you can see the um, Raspberry Pi has been cabled in I've got um, three USB ports connected to it, one for keyboard, one for mouse, one for the secondary display adapter, which you can see over here. The secondary display ad adapter has the USB source coming from the original Raspberry Pi, as well as an HDMI port and a power port. 
and then um, the primary uh, HDX Pi is powering the monitor. So we'll go ahead and go through a, quick, a couple quick setup um, uh, wizards, and then we'll be able to use the Pi. So the first thing that it's asking for here is our geography um, for the time zone information. So we'll go ahead and configure that. And then it'll ask for a uh, connection method. Um, we're just going to use a browser um, to connect this device to our demo environment. And we'll set it to automatic start. We can customize these after the Pi has been fully initialized. Very straightforward wizard um, that in computing provides with this device. Okay, and now it's been configured and we can always go into the configuration options after um, the device has been set up and modify any of these parameters. All so, right, so after a little bit of setup, um, if you've watched the full video, you know that uh, my name is Dane Young with Intesys 360 in Northern California. Um, you can reach me at all the contact information which you can find below. Um, we've completed this setup, which you've probably seen if you look, looked at the full video. Now I want to show you a little bit of a demonstration of what the user experience looks like using the in-computing uh, in Raspberry Pi HDX version, which is uh, meant to work with Citrix, combined with a Pi Zero uh, secondary display adapter. So let's take a look and see how it works. So first thing we'll see here is that once the device is configured, we have a familiar um, storefront um, interface, which will give us access to all of our applications and our desktops through a Netscaler gateway. So we're connecting right now into the environment, which goes through Netscaler gateway. We authenticate as a user and we get presented with a list of applications and or desktops. So if we look at the applications tab here, we have a number of different applications that are available. And if we look at desktops, we, we see a number of different desktops. I'm going to go ahead and connect into a Windows 10 desktop that's powered by our Intesys 360 Workspace Cloud Solution. Um, this is a fully managed end-to-end -end workspace as a service offering that offers applications, desktops, mobility, all as a managed service. So you can find more information about that on our website. And uh, just recently we've announced a partnership with Equinix where we're providing this solution out of Equinix data centers located around the world. So we've got 180 uh, data centers that we can provide this service through, and it's a fully managed Citrix infrastructure that you can use your in computing devices to connect to. So if we take a look here, we got reconnected to an existing session um, that was already uh, preloaded with some applications that I want to show you how um, the user experience looks like here. So if you're just getting up to speed, um, on the right hand side here, there's a Citrix blog article by Mohammed Dawood. Um, back in May of last year. And in this article, he describes a um, very uh, hackathon type of way of getting multi-monitor setup working with a Raspberry Pi and a Pi Zero being used as a secondary display. Um, I'll show you the video here so you can see on both monitors um, with this commercially available Raspberry Pi from InComputing, we're actually able to uh, deliver a very rich user experience to both monitors, um, whereas the previous USB to display port adapter usually maxed out at about 15 frames per second, this Raspberry Pi secondary display adapter that leverages the Pi Zero actually is able to do dual monitors, 1080p, 60 frames per second, and deliver a really good user experience. So if you watch in this video, which I'll, I'll be posting in the comments and in the, the blog article, you'll see he's uh, put together a couple boards from Raspberry Pi, one being the Pi 3, one being the Pi Zero, daisy chaining them together effectively to create a multi-monitor environment. That is exactly what InComputing has done with their, in, uh, with their Raspberry Pi version um, that has the primary device and then the secondary display adapter and the secondary display adapter inside the case is actually running a Pi Zero. So it's a, a low powered device, but it's enough horsepower and it has the H.264 uh, decoding engine to actually give us dual monitors at uh, 1080p. So while that video is playing over there, I'll just show you a little bit of a user experience demo here um, so that you can see that we have uh, full capabilities of multitasking. While we're doing one thing on one monitor, we're able to go into a document, go into a spreadsheet, 
take a look at a variety of different things in here from a uh, Excel perspective. Now, all of this is powered again by our Antis 360 Workspace Cloud offering. And on the back end, we have NVIDIA GPUs, the M10 cards, that provide graphics acceleration for all of these applications. So if we wanted to, we could pull up some um, WebGL, OpenGL type of applications, show that demonstration as well, show you how you're able to get a rich uh, user experience with graphics from a very low cost uh, endpoint here. So here's an example, you know, scrolling PDFs, you can see it's, everything is very smooth on this device. And that has a lot to do with what Citrix and uh, in computing, along with Raspberry Pi have done to optimize this device for uh, H.264. So here's, you know, full screen PDF, doesn't miss, doesn't miss a hitch, it's working great. Uh, everything is scrolling exactly the way that it needs to. And then toggling between applications, bringing up task manager, things like that. It's all working just as designed. So that's it for the demo. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the Raspberry Pi from In Computing, along with the Pi Zero secondary display adapter. Um, both units combined runs you about $150. If you just need a single monitor application, it'll be about $100. Um, and the dual monitor setup is ideal for a lot of um, task workers, knowledge workers that have multi-monitor type of configurations and need the ability of running full screen Citrix sessions across both of those 1080p monitors without degrading performance like we saw with the previous USB to display port adapter. Um, that's it for now. Again, my name is Dane Young. You can find me at Intesys 360. I'm a strategic business advisor, so I work with clients on a lot of their IT initiatives around infrastructure, around VDI and end user computing, around mobility, and around DevOps. Um, we're, based in Northern Cal we're, we're based in California, I'm based in Northern California, and I'd love to talk to you more about your IT needs and initiatives and see where we might be able to help. Thanks so much, and if you'd like to reach out, I'll provide my contact information below. Take care.